Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to the Force Unleashed 2. Let's continue. We've crashed a ship, or crashed our ship, into the cloning facility. In theory, this might be the explanation of the end of the clone troopers. Although, I think in the Star Wars uh, metaphor, Star Wars stories, that's an interesting looking door. Oh. Uh... I think Star Wars already has a reason why the clone troopers don't exist and they had to move to stormtroopers. Starkiller, we're in the security hmm. center across from you. After we take out these Imperials, we'll hmm. deactivate the security screens in your sector. It's pretty brutal. I assume these are all clone troopers. Yeah, we've got more of the golden let's see what can we break and what can we not what are these guys that you can't really do anything with like you can kind of repel them and maybe knock them down but they, they've got anti-force abilities and you just have to kill them if you're lucky and I can't hit that guy from over there. Make your way to the command center. We'll meet up there. Hmm. I'll destroy anything in my way, General, but I'm going after Juno. All he's really doing right now is looking for Juno. He he doesn't care about the rebels, which is isn't isn't that exactly where Star Killer was for the first half of of the the first game too is he uh, he didn't care about the rebels and in fact he was a spy for Vader uh, let's see still trying to get these combos to, to work and or find any other combo that might exist This is not a bad change of pace. Uh, like doing something to help another group of people might be is probably a little bit more preferable. Let's see. Let's go into extreme mode and just kill people. We've got the Gregorian chant in the background. Let's make sure we know what we're doing and what we're supposed to be doing. I don't want to leave this area. make sure there's not anything and if you just jump down I assume you would die so far to be fair they have put us in a different type of looking place for the exact same clone facility that we started in like we, we really have just gone full circle and it was a very tight and narrow circle to begin with. Um, let's see. Just shoot that guy out the window. Hmm. 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 When the camera is twisted like this, I have to babysit it. It really doesn't do anything by itself. Let's 
So I, I just switched from fighting the gold guy by hitting A to prompt this action. This quick time event. Meanwhile, the gold guy who you saw in that cutscene is just standing there. Hey, you gotta get a X, B, and something. Hmm. We seem to be getting more uh, more points per kill. So maybe that's the wisdom shard, or maybe it's just the game itself. Like, I, I would heavily suspect if you just stayed with the default, if you had the two default gold ones throughout the whole, I mean, red gems throughout the whole game, I wouldn't be surprised if you still got enough points with no bonus. But you might experience the game a little worse by having 30 minutes less of time in which you play with all the abilities. And for as small as this game is, all the abilities could have easily been left out. Um, however, it's, it's kind of hard to, to have like a game engine programmer become a level developer. And that's what they needed it to happen. I, uh, one would... Uh, pro, not all programmers are the same, so... It is very possible that while the game engine with the di three different versions of abilities uh, programmer made... Did, it, did their job and made all these abilities, which it seems like they did. Uh, the level designers were the team that was messing up. And it's not unheard of, to my mind, that you might hire a third-party company to make half the levels in a game. Uh, since they, that theoretically would be the least connected element Um, so if somebody told me that they actually had twice as many levels were supposed to be developed, but what happened was the, the second team, the, uh, like the third party, the subcontractor that was hired just took the money and ran. I guess that that would explain some things. And or there was a contract dispute or something. We gained a lot of ground, but there's still fierce resistance. Let's see. Can I go through the store now? Yes, I can. The game kind of failed to tell me that. Hmm. Hmm. Like I figured out this one combo and I barely even have that combo fully programmed. A lot of screaming, a lot of noise. I don't have the audio turned up that loud for me, but I, it does feel like the music is more of a, uh, is much louder than it probably should be. It's slightly overbalanced towards playing the nice musical score, which by the way is almost certainly going to get content ID'd uh, by YouTube uh, because all the Star Wars music does. Oddly, the Star Wars Clone Wars game didn't really even have very good music and so far at least none of it did get content ID for that reason. Let's see. Let's see. 
trying. Um, I don't have that force rage uh, indicator anymore. Where did that go? This would have been a great point for them to animate a second kill animation. There it is. It showed up after I killed somebody. And then must disappear after a while. Yeah. Hmm. Now there was a quick kill animation like this. A quick time event. Where he used his force repulsion ability, this ability, to kill somebody. And I guess we'll see that probably later on. I don't think I'm going to get any more real memory flashes. Uh, to learn anything new. Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Doesn't seem like there's anything there. We came through that one. So this really is the only door. Hmm. Ah, out, General. Hmm. And so we're gonna do a force... A force... Um, what would you call this? Force cooperation? And just a double jump, but then a double jump and dash there. Hey, well, at least it didn't kill me. It just reset me. Even they they realized that this is... I, I need to be uh, probably about halfway back from where, where I was. And another cutscene. They're coming fast and furious. What do you see, Vader Hazard? Hmm. There top of the city the main access hmm. ways to the central city are locked down I, I don't know how we're going to get up there now the audio is perfectly way, easy to hear so the, in the cutscenes it's fine his feet were stuck in the uh, stuck in the floor in that animation by the way uh, this really does feel like a game that would have been just ever so slightly underfinished you know, to get what more funding or maybe it was just more of more of a factor of lucas arts kind of just shutting down and george lucas not really wanting to to be in charge anymore because so far what i've seen of this game i would think you could bring a half finished game look at that glitch uh that's not supposed to be there Texture mapping glitch. Uh, I would think a half finished property using the Star Wars license. I don't, I don't know about the smoke thing. I don't like that. The, the trails of smoke from your lightsaber. And there's nothing in this hallway to, to work with. So I guess you're supposed to be looking outside. But it's dark and rainy outside. So you can't really even see anything there. Yeah, if you brought this to EA, Ubisoft, Activision, uh, any of the uh, big companies at the time, THQ would have been another one that would have almost certainly loved the, the thought of getting even like half the profits or less than half the profits of this game to, in, to just further invest in it and polish it and add more levels and maybe do a rewrite on the script as best as you can like uh, there's nothing so horribly stupid in the script that we've seen that that kills kills anything uh, it, it's just a matter of can you add some more lines of dialogue? Can you flesh out characters? Hmm. This is one of the more difficult people. 
Seems so strange that the background audio is not balanced. Let's see, if we were to come over here and go to the options and audio, like maybe I should turn down the music, but it's really a voice volume thing. So a voice volume is the same for the cutscenes as it is for the uh for the background voice characters voice volume should be at the max music volume should be lower and sound effects volume should stay the same uh, but since that's not broken out i imagine if we turn down voice volume it would only affect uh in a inaccurate and weird way I'm thinking it would only affect the cutscenes. Hmm. Right now, everything's at the maximum. So that's the balancing they wanted in this game. Uh, or, let's be fair, that's the balancing that they gave us in this game. They probably didn't care by the end of the... of the... the end of the project. Hmm. It's, I suppose, slightly different to, like, I don't, I didn't see any stories that this product was actually finished by a different team or at one point they just came in and said, all right, you're done. Uh, everybody clean out your desks type thing. I don't think that's the scenario. I, th I think they were just given a budget, uh, a very short um, time frame to to work in. They knew that time frame and they did the best they could. And that puts you in kind of an odd. I wish I could power charge this and electrocute people around around me. Hmm. Hmm, this doesn't seem like it's really working. Hmm. Let's come down here. Hmm. hmm. You know, I would... It wouldn't have been anything to have it so after you did a quick kill with the correct time events uh, perfectly, like say five or ten times, that you just get enough experience uh, to com to automate that. Suppose that would work. Found another saber crystal. Who's over here? I don't think this guy can hit me. However, the missile guy can. Hmm. Hmm. Man, they sure do love this music. Hmm. And when you pick something up and try and throw it, it doesn't do enough damage. Doesn't seem like there's a set amount of damage that you do in that scenario anyway, so you have to have some room. I'm assuming I actually need to kill all these guys. I guess I don't have to do the quick time thing, so. Interesting. When you hit the right bump and B at the same time, 
you turn yourself into a force blast thing. And who, I don't know if these electric things actually uh, do anything. I, I don't know if it's a if it's a hundred percent stun for the, these characters or what. Yeah, I should just not do the quick time ev event tricks anymore. Just smash them a couple more times. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can get up there or need to get up there. Hmm. This is now just the same platform that we were running on in the main uh, at the beginning of the game. So the worst thing you could do here, I imagine, is uh, is after this level have us go back to the casino planet or a planet that looks very similar to the casino planet on the other hand if they were to take us to a tree like area where we fought some some of the Chewbacca creatures I would be pretty happy with that idea heck even if they took us back to uh, uh, to Dagobah Swamp and showed more level to that, I might be a little satisfied with that. We we really haven't had a standard planet, like tree planet. We we really haven't had any snow like planet. Um Here's a collectible. I've collected two saber crystals recently, so I should make an effort to... Let's see, can I break these? Nope. Hmm. I'm just running around trying to see if there's any more collectibles. I guess there isn't. I'm almost to the point where I can afford another upgrade. And I messed up that quick time event. So let's just hit him a lot instead. This is bad, Starkiller. Hmm. I'm not one to beg, but Hmm. I know how you feel about her, but she's just one officer. We're going to lose the entire rebellion if you don't help us. I, I'm sorry. I just can't. And see, this is just more of the idea and the feeling that this whole game very possibly is happening in your head. And it is uh, Darth Vader playing mind tricks on you so that you will give up Juno and go to the dark side. And we might be close to the end of the game and that might be our good or bad ending, which I haven't given a really thought to it, but if I was to just generally expound upon what I think I know, uh, creates a chance to deal additional lighting, creates a chance to disintegrate your enemies hmm well if I was not trying to get force points to disintegration chart sounds very interesting so you have fire lightning disintegration and poisoned I believe life drain and corrosive I mean that's quite a quite a combination of different effects you could have and still no costume. Uh, 
Yeah, generally speaking, I would just assume that giving up on Juno is the wrong move. It doesn't, like, e the story here is, is pretty simple, and love will find a way, and, you know, like, giving up on who you love is kind of the, the Darth Vader's mistake uh, he, that le lent him to the dark side, sort of. Kind of. I, it, there, there's some parallels here. A little bit. Maybe not direct parallels. Uh, so, if I do have to pick the Rebellion or Juno, I, I see that's love versus revenge. Or hate. And I don't see any reason why the wrong choice would be to choose Juno. Hmm. Uh, they would have to have a well-written scene in which Juno specifically tells me to give up on her and save, like, General Coda. Hmm. Here we've got a new... Well, no, these aren't new. Um, we've got all kinds of... Uh, We've got all kinds of these guys around. Let's see. Hmm. These red ones are supposed to be worse than the the gold ones, but kind of. I would say the gold ones are worse. Maybe the red ones are they're actual force users and so they're more of a distant type character whereas these guys are I, maybe not so force sensitive these may just be clone troopers that were given lightsabers stolen from dead jedi hey and now we're f we're fighting the uh the invisible guys with cloak with uh, cloaking technology. Hmm. Hmm. Still feels like there's really only two combos in this whole thing. But that, yeah. For my wild button mashing, I think I should have seen more than two kills. Uh, if I was playing a fighting game with who are, that was full of combos, I, w I would have, just by wild button mashing, I would have run into more than, than a couple. So jump, jump, this... So that puts an interesting twist on it. Am I even getting points for breaking these glass things, by the way? No. I am not. So I was probably supposed to be working my way around while this was happening. Like, I don't see any tubes. Are they the tubes far, far away? Hmm. Hmm. Did I do the right thing or did I do the wrong thing? I think I may have done the wrong thing. 
Hmm. Interesting. So this might be that we're not fighting clone troopers. We are actually already fighting storm troopers. And... Like, there's no left and right here, so it's either moving up or moving down. Hmm. I don't see a reason why. Now it makes sense. Somewhat. Hmm. It certainly does put an interesting twist. Let's see, we can't afford anything. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that does put a different twist on the difficult decision that I kind of assume we're going to have to make in this game at, at the end is do you raise this army of star killers that maybe you could bring to the light side and and have a resurrected jedi force to help the rebel alliance or do you kill them because it's they're just too dangerous and one would kind of assume that it might not even be a choice that we make. We're going to just probably end up killing them. Um, and thus killing yourself thousands of times over. Another 30 minutes. Not too bad. We got a little bit of story, which is about as much as you can expect for for this game. I, I'm definitely applying some lowered standards to it, though. Um, and we fought some people. Same old, same old people doing some platforming there hasn't been a ton of platforming in the game i imagine we won't run into too much more of it either um levels even though there's been very few of them most of them excluding dagobah swamp have been really really long so i wouldn't be surprised if there's another 30 minutes to even 45 minutes in this one level and I also wouldn't be surprised if we end up just fighting Darth Vader at the end of this level and that's the whole game, except for the challenges. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. If you want to support me, give me something on Steam. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.